everyone, Nancy here with you again. I'm going to show you how to use rice paper. Rice paper is very thin, but it's very textured as well. Um, it has a totally different feel from regular paper or cardstock. You can semi see through it because it is so thin, um, and it is one sided. You can see the fibers if I turn to the back of this. So I'm going to show you how to tear rice paper. I think rice paper is meant to be torn, but that's just me. Um, of course, if you want to cut it out with the scissors or whatever, you can do so, but those fibers are so cool to have um, at the end of the papers. So what you need to do this is some water and a brush, and it can be any size brush depending on what you want to do. Uh, hey, my friend Karen, do you see what I'm using for my water? Thank you, Karen. So I'm going to take my water on a brush and I'm going to paint around the image that I want to cut out. I'm painting with water. Look, no mistakes. Fun, fun, fun. And I said cut out, but as you know, we're going to tear. Okay, so once that is, the water is around the image that you want to do, you're going to then tear. So you're going to hold the paper down with one hand, and you're going to carefully tear away around the image that you just painted with water. Very easy, huh? And look at this gorgeous fiber. Now you see what I mean. Isn't it pretty? I just love it. Makes me want to touch it. Okay, so you have in your kit at Button Farm with my latest kit, you have rice paper, and you have an image of a tall ship on your rice paper. And I've shown you what I do with it. Of course, you can use it any way you want. And as a matter of fact, at the end of the kit, at the end of the instructions for the kit, I've shown you a couple of very simple cards you can do with the leftover rice paper. But I think you'll like doing this. It's so easy. And like I said, you can't make a mistake. It's water. Water and tearing. Thanks. See you later. Enjoyed.